trailed by 14 to 3 at one point in that game and ended up winning 24 14. since then it's been two losses for clermont to leicester both home and away in this competition and for the dhl stormers victories at home and away for christoph urios begins as clermont's head coach on monday lost forward and anthony bello bearing down on a hundred points in heineken champions cup rugby that penalty takes him to 96 in the competition and 28 this season jono for forcad and joseph tuweber not rolling out of that area and it is two out of two for anthony Clermont, a little scuffle off okay, the ball as well. TMO might be having a, a look at that while play goes on. Holding. Volata loved that the moment he struck it. And well, he might have got over with some to spare. Home side wanting to display more patience on attack as well in the build up. They've gone side to side a number of feet times in the first half. One from two in the first half. This is the simplest of his attempts so far. Beautifully struck to bring the DHL Stormers back on level terms. Offload in contact from Daimani for Evans. And it's this time. Clermont who get the benefit at the breakdown be this to reach the three-figure mark and not taking much time making a strong run off the restart but cut down in the tackle and a first contribution from Evan Roos away by Yankees Jean-Luc Duplessis with a little dab through now Anthony Bello has has he made he's an attempt to catch that? The Stormers are saying that's a deliberate tap touch. down. It is, is in a position to gain possession of the ball, but there is other there cover is, there as cover well. There's a cover player coming across. Absolutely agree. So we're talking yellow card. There's a potential line break um, and deliberate knock-on, yes. Agreed. What's the number for the deliberate knock-on? Number 10. Number 10, OK. Um, it's so a deliberate knock-on. He's batted it forwards in order to catch it, but he has failed. So that's so. a deliberate knock-on. Saying take the front ball, that's how they set up. Scrummers try to find the back Ball of the nature. Marvin Ori with the take. Crowd getting in behind their side here. And then that's Evan Ross away. breaking away, making his way towards the line. He's broken away from the ball. But just the desperation to fight he is up against Janot, the scrum off. With Dion Puri and Kitsu just thanks. David Kubriak Shabili. Who made his debut for Georgia in 2008? Over 120 games for Toulon. The 36 year old replacing Rabba Slimani at tight head. Dan Duplessis making good headway. Yankees. Storm is really picking up the pace now as uh, Clermont's defensive effort takes its toll. And Hartzenberg gets away. Pops it up for Yankees. Brilliant. Wow. Suleiman Hartzenberg, he, he lost his shorts but not his nerve. <laughs> the storm has got momentum and Hartzenberg stop start gone. Standing start. And like any good scrum. Set. Oh. Scrum down on that far side, but. Christoph Ridley satisfied that the ball was available to Herschel Yankees. Ruan Nell. Here's Ruas running hard between two defenders. And again, just creating that momentum beyond the game line. Here's Dan Duplessis sliding his way through. Newsom to beat. And Duplessis is in. Magnificent. What a try from the Stormers.
What a try. And Matthew mentioned it. Good direct rugby. That run from Yevon Rista. Quick ball generated. The slick hands from Joseph Dreber. So Joseph Dreber keeps the ball alive. And Dan Duplessis, he's got a big tighty around him. Beats him one on one. Or gets around him. So Gabin Miche is replacing Anthony Bello. Hold, hold. Now on. And the clearance kick gathered by Hartzenberg. He's looking wide. And the interception is on for Bautista Delgi. No one will catch him. The Argentine international getting in for Clermont's first. It's soft. A big, expansive pass from Suleiman Hartzenberg. And Bautista Delgi's eyes lit up at the opportunity in front of him. I think supporters needed that. So Dalgi, once he beats, they get him to space. I and mean, we've got some real speedsters there. Angela Davids, Achiva Daimani. Well, you, you didn't couldn't get, get close to him. Ori, oh. the line out target. The Stormers Mall gathering momentum towards Clermont's line. And over they go. That's Dion Fury right at the bottom. In round one, he's on the board again. And the Stormers' fourth try secure. Yeah, and it becomes a race against time. Because Clemore are trying to get that more towards the touch. Heineken Champions Cup table in Pool B. La Rochelle with four from four. At the top of that pool. Oh, that's an ugly tackle. That's going to be a card. Well, it's a definite yellow card. Yeah, he was, he was going for the pocket already for the high tackle. Back you go, please, uh, everything after Back that is go. just a Thank waste you. of time, Back to be honest go. with you. One number. So it comes, just slides up. Shasham Gomez, you never really... Thank you. The Stormers need to win this final set piece. The siren has sounded. And they can clear to touch. Well, now they can do it from a penalty. Just a quick tap it's and then into and touch and on they march. This player here. Their Extended incredible and record at the DHL Stadium in Cape Town. <laughs> Remains intact. They trailed by six points to three at half time. But three consecutive wins in the Heineken Champions Cup and securing their position in the round of 16. They set the DHL Stadium alight in the second half. Full time in Cape Town, the DHL Stormers 30, Clermont Auvergne 60.